Hey, Critical Analysis, welcome to summer 2022 semester. I am Dr. Linda Remark, and I will be with you for these next eight weeks for your critical analysis course. So the first thing I wanted to do is just welcome you and start this video, just kind of getting you uh, accommodated to Blackboard, especially if maybe this is your first time either using Blackboard or your first fully web course. So this video is strictly just to kind of get you acclimated. It's not going to go over any um, content information, any assignments or anything of that nature. It is strictly to just help with navigation. So first thing is, depending on how you are watching this video, because I have sent it out in an email with a link and it's also embedded in Blackboard. If you are watching it via the link, please make sure you take the succeeding online orientation. Uh, if you've never used Blackboard or if you're a brand new student, because you will not have access to our course until you take that orientation. And in fact, when you go into our course, when you're in Blackboard and you click in, it's going to kind of stop you. So you're not going to be able to get access. So if you have not done that already, please make sure you do that. Okay, so once you have done that, or if you're already inside Blackboard, you're going to always come into our course and it's going to bring you right to the start here section. Okay, so this is kind of your landing point for the entire course. And so I'm gonna talk about this page here. So the good news is your textbook is online. It is part of your tuition package. So it's already built in. You don't have to go and purchase it separately. So right here it is, you'll click in here and it's going to ask you, uh, depending on if you've used our publisher or vital source before, it's going to ask you to create an account. And then once you do that, it should pretty much let you log in every time you click on that. So if you have not used this platform before, Vital Source, or used our textbook publisher, when you go in here, it might ask you to create a username and password. I am going to recommend that you just use the same username and password you use for everything else at the college. Just keeping everything very you know, straightforward so you're using similar information so you do not forget. But here is our textbook. And so I'm gonna encourage you to take a look at it. It is all online. So on the left-hand side, you can you know, pull this in and out if you need to over here. Here's our table of contents and it's just going to walk you through if you wanna get a feel for like the brief table of contents, you can see just real quickly the chapters, the extra uh, you know, items in the end of the textbook there. Here's a more detailed table of contents. It's gonna go through the title of every chapter and the very nitty gritties of all the pieces in every chapter. You can see again how detailed it is. And then of course you have our preface and it's gonna start going right into our chapters. And so in your weekly videos, I will be getting into your textbook and kind of showing you different pieces and parts of the chapters, maybe talking about some exercises, pulling out vocabulary, all of that. So right now what I would just recommend is after you get logged into Blackboard and logged into our textbook, just click into our textbook and just do a little feeling around click around, get used to it. Um, you can see down here in the right hand corner, you can click next, that's how you can navigate here. Or if you know you need to go to a certain page number, you can type it in and it'll take you there. Or you can search up here. So you can search by keywords or vocabulary. So there's different features up here. You also have some different you know, preferences in terms of how you view information. So if you want to play around with that, if you need different text sizes or fonts, you can definitely play with that. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that you saw those. You can also do some highlighting in your textbook. Okay, so you can play around if you want to make notes. So again, lots of different features. Bookmarks, flashcards. So there are features that you could use as part of our textbook if you like to use those. So I may talk about those as we go through individual chapters as well. All right, so from there, this is our master syllabus. This is going to just be very straightforward. If you've taken a class here at the college before, it's going to look very familiar. It really is just a gen general syllabus. It's, there's nothing specific to our course other than the fact that it has its name, we're four credits. Here's the course description you would have seen when you enrolled in the class. Here are the general learning outcomes and the course objectives. Okay. If you need information about disability services, if you need an accommodation, anything along those lines, 
there's more information here, computer usage, and then a list of the student success and student resources on campus, which I'll periodically refer to as we talk about them and as they become important throughout our different chapters. Now, right underneath that is our syllabus that is very specific to our summer section. So this goes into a PDF here, and I'm gonna take a few minutes to really walk through this. So again, we're in critical analysis. This is completely online. We do not meet at any day or time together. So there's no coming to campus. There's no logging in at the same time, no Zooms, anything like that. Web3. My name is Dr. Linda Remark. Because we're in the summer, I do not have set office hours, although you are certainly welcome to set something up with me, whether if you need to come to campus, I can try to arrange a time to come to campus to meet you. We can set up a Zoom meeting. You can call me on my extension, even though I'm not on campus very often during the summer, I still get my notifications that I have a voicemail and then email. And then of course, through Blackboard messaging, which I'll talk about as well. Here is the information about our textbook, which I just showed you. So information about that material. And here's our course content. So we will have chapter activities. There are 10 chapter activities. Every single chapter has what's called like a text and skill sheet or a TSP for short, um, that is going to connect with chapter content, connect with chapter activities. And those are things that you'll be turning in every week. You also have something called mastery skill assessment, which I will show you uh, here in just a little bit. It is going to be due at the end of week eight and we work on these on a weekly basis. And so again, I will talk about mastery skill more detailed inside the weekly folders. You will also have vocabulary quizzes every chapter. So 10 vocabulary quizzes, and I will always provide you a study guide. I will have a vocabulary video walking you through those. So you will work with that. Because this is an eight week session, and you're gonna see that here in a few minutes, um, we're gonna go through a lot of material every week. A, around two chapters a week. That's a lot. Um, this is typically a 16 week course. It's a heavy textbook in terms of content. And so there's a lot going to be covered. So I just wanna make sure you all all aware of that early on. And then you're also gonna have two vocabulary tests over chapters one through five, and then again, six through 10. You may also have other activities and homeworks that are assigned connected to each individual chapter. And then there is a discussion forum because we're all online. This is how we take attendance. And so every week, so for eight weeks, you're going to have a discussion forum due by Wednesdays. So every Wednesday you have to post. Now you can post on Monday or Tuesday, but as long as you post by Wednesday, that's how you get your week attendance. A full post is about two to five sentences in length. And to get class participation, you have to interact with 10 interactions. So that could be, you know, every week you just say, I'm going to respond to two classmates or in one week, hey, you're going to respond to 10 classmates, whatever the case is. So you are still interacting as if we're on a face-to-face -face campus class. So 10 interactions, and I keep a little spreadsheet just to kind of look. And when I say interactions, that's not just good job or I agree, like you are responding to your classmate. You are typing a couple sentences, you know, you're interacting, you're asking questions, you're, you're digging into what they have posted in their original response. So those are the, the course content. Here's the mastery skills that I alluded to up above and in your weekly videos, I will show you these more in detail, but this is a snapshot. So there are 10 skills. You can see them all listed right here. They all correlate to chapters in our textbook. And so while there will be a single place that you can find all of these, I have also embedded the individual skills inside the chapters that they go with so that you can get to them two different places. So I will always let you know what chapter goes with which skill, like for instance, determining meaning from context, this is going to come from chapter four and it's the first one we see. So I will talk about that in your chapter four video. There are 10 of these, you have to get an 80% average on all 10. That does not mean you have to get an 80% every single time. You can get a 50% on one and then 100% on another and an 80% on a third, as long as the average at the end is 80%. And there are two tests in every single skill. You do not have to take both. But if you take, let's say you take this vocabulary one and you get a 50 the first time and you're like, ooh, I can do better. You take it a second time, you get an 80. It's gonna take the higher grade. And then you'll do the same thing for the rest. 
80% is your goal on all 10 and you cannot pass the class without getting that 80% mathematically because this is a quarter of your grade. You can see the grading skill. This is an AB class. So you do have to have an ARB to pass the class. And so this is why it's really important to, you know, be online frequently, meet your attendance deadlines, turn in your assignments, reach out to me when you have questions. Here is the breakdown of what is graded and how much it's worth. You can see your vocabulary quizzes, homework, those two vocabulary tests, your attendance and participation, and then those mastery skills. Here, I like to put my class policies in like a frequently asked question format. And so some of this I've already touched on, so I'm just gonna kind of go through this, but I encourage you to read through it more in depth. So I already talked about there are chapter tests and quizzes, 10 vocabulary quizzes, two vocabulary tests, and there's a final review packet. There's not like a final exam, but a final review packet at the end. You have the mastery skills, which is right up here. Those are due at the end of week eight during our term. How do you earn points? Well, do your work, you know, get your attendance points, turn in your homework, study for your quizzes. When are assignments due? All attendance posts are due by Wednesday. So that's what I mentioned above. So week one attendance post on Wednesday, week two, Wednesday. Everything else is due by Sundays. So a week opens Monday morning, it closes on Sunday. So you get your assignments Monday, you have all week until Sunday to turn those in. I wouldn't wait until Sunday at 11.55, just because if there's a technology problem or if you have a question, but you have until Sunday at 11.55. So I really do encourage you again with this week eight or eight week session, logging in three or four times a week because there's a lot of information. Again, you aren't attendance by posting on Wednesdays. If you are late, you can still get partial attendance points. So don't just not post. So if you post on Thursday, you're still going to get 50% attendance. So if you miss it, still post it. You cannot make up those points, but you can still get partial attendance. How do you submit your assignments? I'm going to walk you through that. There are drop boxes. So please make sure you are submitting those in the drop boxes. Now, um, I have had students email me assignments. I will say, because we're all online, it's just easier to submit everything in the Dropbox. That way I'm grading it right there. You can see my feedback right there. There is no ha me having to look four different places for your assignments. Can you make up missed assignments? <sighs> Possibly, case by case basis. Is there a midterm or final? Those two vocabulary tests and the course packet. The textbook for the class is online. How often should you log in? a lot. Um, I'm just letting you know right now, again, there is a lot of information covered every single week. And if you wait until like Friday to log in every week, it's not going to give you a lot of time. And so you really want to make sure you maybe log in Monday, get a feel for what you're doing for the week, log in again a couple more times throughout the week. It's really important. There is a ton of information every week in here. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but I'm not, I just want to be very realistic with what you're going to be kind of signing up for. What are you expected to do every week? So every week you're going to have videos that are uploaded that go along with the chapters. You're also gonna have announcements. You're gonna have messages. You're gonna have the syllabus. Everything is gonna be there. I'm gonna show you how the weeks are broken down here in just a few minutes. You can get an idea. Do I give extra credit? Sometimes, just make sure you check your, your Blackboard messages. And then if there's ever a change, in you know the calendar i will always let you know here's some more information about like withdrawal dates and requirements for an eight week summer session you have until july 18th to withdraw and then if you're a college credit plus student there's a little bit more information there all right here is your calendar you can see as i scroll through Hopefully you can tell again what I mean. There's a lot going on every single week. So what I've done is I've broken it down by week. Here in this first column is what you're kind of doing, the information that you're working with. So I always break it down into these categories. You can kind of see, what are you watching? What are you reading? What are you reviewing? Are there any suggested or optional activities? And what are you filling in? So you can kind of see again that I keep that pattern throughout every week. What are you reading, reviewing, watching, and so on. Then in the right hand side, what are you submitting? What am I actually grading? So every time you'll see the attendance posts and I even have the Wednesdays that they're due and then the assignments that you're completing by Sunday. So week one obviously is a little lighter because you're getting used to it, but there's still quite a bit to go through. And then week two, it jumps right in. You can see we're going through chapters one and two in week two. And so you have multiple assignments to turn in those drop boxes. And then you'll see week three, we really pick up 
and then you can see the mastery skills where they start. So mastery skills are not due until week eight, but I really do not recommend waiting until week eight. So that's why I have them embedded in every single week, which skills are gonna go with what chapters we talk about so that you can stay on track and you're not going to get behind. All right, so that is your syllabus. So I encourage you to you know, print it out, to download it and save it. Um, just make sure you have access to it. All right, so the rest of this Start Here page are basically just extra resources. So student resources, how grades are determined, um, the grading scale, again, some of this is repeated from your syllabus. All right, now under the Lessons tab, this is where you're going to get a lot of the meat of the, the entire course. Here's the muddy point. This is gonna be open all semester. So this is also, I'm going to use this to show you how to post in a discussion form. So the muddy point is used if you have a question that you would maybe even ask during a class, like you would raise your hand and ask, you can post it here. The only thing is anyone can answer it. So you're not just posting it to me. If it's an individual question about your grade or an individual assignment question, message me directly. But here in the muddy point, in any other discussion form, you can see this is what the discussion form looks like. You click in, you're gonna click create thread, give it your subject, and then hit submit. And then it's gonna pop up right there. When you go to respond to a classmate, you just click on their thread name, see what they've written, and then click reply. Okay, so that's gonna work for your weekly attendance. That's how you do your posts. I just thought I would demonstrate it there with your muddy point. So again, that's just if you have questions throughout the semester. Here are those mastery skills. As I mentioned, they are all located in one place right here, all 10 of those skills. Now I'm going to periodically open them. They're not all going to be open because I really do want you to engage with the material before you try them. So when you click into these on your own, you're gonna see these kind of grayed out um, because I wanna make sure that you talk about or we lecture and you read and you work with the concepts before you try it. That leads to more success. But as I mentioned though, each individual skill will be embedded inside its own week. Here is another link to the textbook and there's going to be a link to the textbook in every single week as well. So let me go ahead and show you what the weeks are going to set up like. I'm just going to hop right into week two. They're all going to be set up this way. So you're going to click in and you're going to see an overview of the chapters that we're going to talk about. So there's the chapter one overview, chapter two overview. And now just like your syllabus, if you recall, just like in your syllabus, I had all of these things for you to read, review, watch, and so on. So here's what you're going to read. You click in there, read chapters one and two. There's a link to the textbook. See, there it is. Clicks right in. So if you're reading chapters one and two for this week, you'll just let it load. It's actually already over here. So you'll let it load and then you'll click into chapter one. There it is. Okay. Now let's say you've read that. Now you're going to go to review. You're reviewing the PowerPoints. So here are the PowerPoints. You're gonna click in and it's going to download the PowerPoint. And so you're gonna spend some time looking at the PowerPoint. Now keep in mind, whenever you get to the, give me a second, watch section, there's nothing gonna be in here quite yet, but whenever you get to the watch section, I'm going to have my videos right in here. The videos that are gonna go over all of the different things. In some weeks, they're going to be maybe six videos. And I do that because I don't want there to be like an hour long video. So I'll break up like a vocabulary video. So that's 10 minutes. And then I'll do like an assignment video, what'll be like seven minutes. So that way you're getting like little pieces, but not sitting for very long periods of time. So if you needed to just watch one quick video instead of like a full chapter video, you can do that. So then you'll also see, you know, what are you going to fill in this week? Well, there's your study guide. This is what's going to be filled in this week. And there's going to be a vocabulary video that's going to correlate with that. What are you going to submit? Here's everything you're submitting. There's your discussion board. So because that's in the submit section, you are going to complete the discussion board inside the submit folder. And then you can see here are all your assignments. Anything that is just like a little document, icon, that's the actual assignment. So let's say you're completing this, you're going to click on it. It's going to open up into Microsoft Word, which if you do not have, please let me know you, you do need to have Microsoft Word. As a student, you can get it for free. 
and I can show you that here um, in a little bit, or if you if you want access to that, I can show you. So here's the chapter one text and skill sheet. So for any time you do this, you're just gonna you know, type your answers, spell words, right, hopefully. You're gonna type your answers. When you're done, you're gonna file, you're gonna save them, find a place to save them. And I'm just gonna put them on my desktop for now. Now let's say it's ready to go. I'm done, I feel comfortable, I'm gonna turn it in. So I'm gonna go back to the submit and right underneath there is my Dropbox. Dropboxes look like this. I also make sure to say Dropbox so you know that's where you're going with it. So I'm gonna click inside the Dropbox. It's gonna remind me when it's due, how many points it's worth. I'm going to browse my files. I'm gonna find where, you know, right there, desktop, open and hit submit. It's not gonna let me because I'm, I'm not a student, but that's how I would do that. Okay, and you can see again, all of my assignments are right in there. And then just to show you, if I go down here to week six or something, um, actually, let me go to week four. Inside, there's some extra practices. Like I said, every once in a while, you'll see those. There are those mastery skill links. So if you, needed to do the mastery skill connected with this chapter, they're located right there. So that way you could go back to the lessons and access them that way, but they're also embedded. Okay, so that's a little bit how the weeks are set up. And I will go into more detail with that in the first couple videos. This is just, again, getting kind of your feet wet. So I encourage you to really click around and get to know this. Some other things I want you to be aware of, course messages and announcements are going to work very similarly. Anytime I post an announcement, it's going to everyone. That's not individual. Everyone sees that announcement. Whatever announcement I post right here, I also copy and paste and put into the messages. Again, everyone sees that. Now, if I send you an individual message, I will usually either address you by name or you're going to tell like it's directly talking you know, to you. So just keep that in mind. For the first couple of weeks, I will reach out and say, hey, you're finished with week one's work or you're finished with week two's work, just because I know sometimes that makes people feel a little bit more comfortable if they know that they were going to, you know, like, hey, I've got everything finished. You also have a link to a course calendar right here. So I am actually recording this in May, so I'm gonna click ahead to June. And you can see that all of your assignments are linked to the course calendar. So you can see exactly when everything is due. You also have a link to your grades, so you can keep up on your grades at all times, Obviously nothing's in here yet, but you can see all your attendance is in there, all your Dropbox assignments are in there, your mastery skills are in there, everything is there. And then there's some different course and college resources here, such as like the digital library, it takes you right into the library. If you had questions on like the help desk, all of that. So again, I encourage you, click around, get to know what's going on in the course, practice you know, posting your, your muddy point. Um, the very first in week one, which I will talk about in the week one videos, but in the submit section, you are introducing yourself. So that's where you'll get a chance to really start interacting with your classmates. All right, so I hope this navigation video helped you. Please reach out to me if you have any questions and I look forward to a great summer semester. Bye.